Hey guys, so I wanted to walk you through my personal favorite part of Streak. It's uh, my favorite feature. And I think that for anybody that's, you know, following up with customers on a regular basis and needs to kind of keep track of all of that and make sure that they're not letting anything fall off their radar, this is essential. Um, I think everybody should use this. I think it's really like the thing that sets us apart. So I wanted to walk you guys through it real quick. Um, in this pipeline here, you'll notice at the top left, I've got a total of 52 leads in here. And as I just said, I don't want anything sitting in here for weeks without me touching it. If they're in here, I want to be working these leads regularly, or at the very least, I want to be intentionally ignoring them, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right over here. And it's called our Saved View Editor. It often gets overlooked, but it's extremely powerful. And I'm just going to show you one way to use it. There's a lot of other things you can do with it, but I'll let you explore that. Um, here, we're trying to solve for that problem of just making sure that nothing ever falls off my radar. So I'm gonna set up a few filters to help me do that. First, I'm gonna look at the assign to column. And I'm gonna say assign to is any of me. So this is gonna be only my leads. I don't wanna see anybody else's. Second, I'm gonna choose the stage column. I'm gonna say stage is not any of. And we're gonna get rid of any of these terminal stages where the deals are already finished. I only want the active deals. And this last one is really the magic sauce. So this one is gonna look at the date of the last interaction. An interaction is gonna be either a call log, a meeting note, or an email that's been sent or received. So any kind of interaction with the client is before seven days ago. So these are my responsibility. They're in an active stage of my pipeline and I haven't spoken with them in at least a week. I'm gonna apply that. And you can see up here that I've taken that down to 10 from the list of 52. And we don't wanna to have to recreate this every time we come in. So I'm gonna come right up here. And I'm gonna save this. And we're gonna call this one week, no contact. So we've saved it and I'm gonna give it a star. So it's living right over here underneath my main pipeline. And the nice thing about this view is it's dynamic. So every day or Every day, this is the system is actually checking and it's making sure like, is there anybody else that needs to be added to the list? So tomorrow, this number up here might tick up to 11. Or on the other side of the coin, if I send an email to anybody on here, they don't meet this third criteria anymore and they automatically drop off. So it's kind of a, a living list, if that makes sense. And so what makes this extremely valuable to me is since this is so important, it's showing me everything that I'm kind of forgetting about right now that I haven't, any client I haven't talked to in a week. I'm gonna come right up here and I'm gonna click show an inbox for it. And now every single time I log into my Gmail account, right at the top of my screen, Streak is letting me know I need to reach out to these 10 people before I walk out of the office today. So then I can just start to click into these one at a time. I can read through the email history, any call logs, see exactly where I am with this deal. I can send off an email, email to Tonya, or Tonya, sorry. And then she's just gonna pop off the top of the list right there. So I can continue to work down this. And in my mind, it's really just like zeroing out your inbox. So in addition to just responding to any emails that have come in the night before, every day I come in and I try to zero out my saved views. I complete any tasks. And once I've completed all of my tasks, zeroed out my saved view and zeroed out my inbox, I know I can throw my feet up because I've done everything that I needed to do for the day. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, and I'll let you guys know when I have a few other videos to post.